Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be covering few important sums on this chapter which is very very important from exam point of view. The name of the topic is simple interest. See students, in examination, simple interest is such a topic where twisted questions can be asked. So your concept about this particular chapter has to be very very clear. See it is basically based on formula. I would suggest in case you have not seen my complete video on simple interest, please see that. I will be giving the link in the description box as well. There I have explained this topic thoroughly. Each and every formula is covered in that particular video. So I suggest you please see that video. Okay. So let's begin. First question will appear on your screen. Swaradha deposited Rs. 25,000 in a bank at a rate of 8% per annum for 6 years. How much interest will she receive after 6 years? Students, as I told you earlier, this topic is based on formula. Here in this particular sum, we are supposed to find out the interest. So what is the formula for simple interest? Simple interest is equal to principal into number of years or the period into rate upon 100. See this order is not important. We are multiplying everything. So even though you write N first, R first and whatever. It's not going to affect your answer. Okay. So let's input whatever information is given in the sum. Swarada has deposited. 25,000 means P is equal to 25,000. Right? And rate is, that is R is equal to 8. And number of years, that is period is equal to 6 years. This years is very important. Okay? So let's begin. Input the figures or the values of this variables. Simple interest is equal to P is how much? 25,000. N is 6 years. R is 8% upon 100. We can remove this 0, 1 from top, 1 from down. Right? So what is remaining? 250 into 6 into 8. If we multiply everything, we are getting Rupees 12,000. So here answer is rupees 12,000 because they have asked us how much interest. This is simple interest. So we have got the answer, right? Very, very easy. So what I have done? I have just found out whatever is given and I have put this value in the formula and solve the formula. I have got the answer. So simple. Right? So it is based on formula. Only thing is you have to do the calculation properly. That division, multiplication and two marks are in the pocket. Right? Chal, aage badde hai. Next sum will appear on your screen. At what rate of interest will rupees 2800 amount to rupees 3920 in 5 years? Students here our first job is to find out what they have given to us. Initial amount is how much? 2,800. So P, P is initial amount, principal. That is rupees 2,800. Amounts to, that is amount, not interest. Please be careful here. Amounts to rupees 3,920. So how to find out interest? SI or I? How to find out? A minus P will give me interest. So A is how much? 3920 minus principal is 2800. So my interest is 1120. So SI, I have found out with the information given to us. What else they have given us? N, 5 years. Right? And they are telling us to find out R. At what rate? Means rate we need to find out. So let's write the formula for rate. 
rate is equal to i into 100 upon p into n okay i is how much i is 1120 which was not given in the question we have found out please be careful here into 100 upon p is how much 2800 into n is 5 years nothing extraordinary we have just put the values in the formula now we are going to divide or multiply whatever is required right first we take care of uh, zeros one from the numerator denominator and one from the numerator one one more so equal number of zeros are cancelled from down and on top okay this we are doing because everything is multiplied otherwise we can't uh, remove zeros then 14 twos are 14 eights are and this one zero please don't forget then two ones are two fours are eight and zero five ones are five five eights are forty so ultimately what is remaining eight here one is remaining here one is remaining here one is remaining and eight so answer is eight into one eight upon one into one one means eight is the answer 8% is the answer. Rate of interest is 8%. Students, I suggest you please make practice or do practice of such kind of divisions. Okay? When we divide some com with a common factor with a numerator and denominator. This type of calculation is very very essential for competitive exams. Okay? We cannot do division like that how we normally do in the school. This type of division saves a lot of time. Right? Okay. Chalo, aage badte hai. Next sum will appear on your screen. The interest on certain principal for 5 years at a certain rate of interest is rupees 6000. What is the interest on double that principal for 3 years at the rate of, uh, at the same rate of interest? Students, in these kinds of sums where there is no proper information given, uncertain principle, double the principle, okay, in that case, very, very often it is not based on the formula. It is simple unitary method. You will understand when we will solve this particular sum what I am trying to tell you, okay. Chal, aage badte hai. Unhone kya diya hai? Thousand interest for five years on certain principle. Six thousand interest we are getting after five years. So, what is the interest on double that principle? We don't know principle. So, how can we double it? But that double word is very very important. Okay. So they are asking how much interest we will get if the principle is doubled. Here also we don't know principle. Here also we don't know. This is interest. This is number of years. So where is the principal? P is not there. And they are telling us to find out double the principal 3 years ke liye kitna interest me liga. Principal hi nahi malum. Toh kya kare? This is based on unitary method. What we will do? If we are getting 6000 interest for 5 years, we will find out for 1 year. How can we do that? 6000 divided by 5. That is 1200. Right? This is for 1 year. Right? Now we will find out for 3 years. If from 1 year I want to find out for 3 years, I will multiply this by 3. That is 3600. This is for 3 years. Many students make a mistake of choosing this as the correct option. No. Students, please don't do that. There will be an option of 3600. 100%. Because we know how to catch students, right? But we don't have to do that mistake. Why? 
that word double is there. That word double is there which is very very important. We would have got 3600 as interest if that initial principal would have been same. But here they are saying we want to find out interest when the principal is double. Agar principal double ho raha hai, to interest bhi double hoga. Ye normal interest hai. Agar double principal pe nikalna hai, so we need to multiply this by 2. Means we, want, we should do double of this 3600. So correct answer is 7200. Students, each and every word given in the question is very very important. We cannot afford to ignore it. So reading question properly is half solved. Ek ek word important hai. Double hai, half hai. Agar mulla bola hota, the principle is half. Then we would have done half of this. Got it? Students, you saw how simple is the simple interest. The name itself suggests simple, right? Naam hi kafi hai. Simple interest. This topic is very simple. Only thing is, you are supposed to read the question properly, analyze it properly, use the information given to us properly and calculate it properly. Okay? Students, now we will stop here. Again, I will come with the important chapter with important sums. Okay? Students, if you like my videos, then don't forget to share with your friends. And uh, do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done it so far. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? You know. Study well. And very important thing is, correct? Enjoy studying. Bye-bye.